is Ewan here from Audio Coach UK. Let's have a very quick look at the uh, 450 HD web GUI. So the first thing you're going to need to do is browse to the uh, GUI website. Um, so what you need to do is type in the IP address of the phone into the browsing bar here. Uh, you can find the IP address uh, from the phone itself. There's another video outlining that. The default username and password is admin and then 1234. This can actually be changed in the web GUI itself at a later date if you like. And log in. So the most commonly used uh, settings within the web GUI um, is under personal settings. So this is kind of your average user just wanted to set up speed dials and things of that nature. So click on personal settings, function keys. And then up comes um, eight positions. So around the screen, um, there are eight soft keys, so the large touchscreen display. Uh, so within each of these positions, you can configure either a, a speed dial, so that's just a regular phone number, speed dial plus BLF, so this is busy lamp function. So essentially, uh, you can see the presence of your contacts. So I'm just going to type a contact in here. So that's Mickey. OK, so that's the first one done. So let's just do a regular phone number, so 1234. I'm just going to call that test. Then we have things like key events. OK, so the key event in this case is calendar or missed calls or received calls, dial calls, etc. So I'm just going to call this cow for calendar. Let's just do another key event here. OK, let's call this one missed. OK, so we now have the first four set up. So that's the left hand side of the screen. So I'm now going to submit that. And if you could see the phone, the phone would actually refresh and you would then see those soft keys actually set up. OK, another, another common uh, used function is a uh, pin lock. So you can kind of, uh, you know, turn that on and off. Um, you can actually sign the phone in via the web GUI. It's probably easier to do it um, via another process, which I'll outline in another video, but you can do it via the GUI. Um, also, for things like upgrading firmware, um, if you click on the management tab, go to manual update, you can then click on firmware upgrade. You can choose your file, submit it, and then the new firmware would be uploaded. Um, there's also the configuration of the file, which is essentially a, a text file, which has got all of the settings of the uh, of the phone. So if you wanted to kind of upload some new settings in the in the uh, in a text file format, this is where you would do that. OK, that's the common features of the web GUI. Um, any questions, please uh, put a note on this video and I'll be happy to answer them. Thank you.